Folks, Sunday afternoon. Welcome to the Margu campaign, aka the tri generational campaign. Glad you could join us, uh, whether you're listening live or off the audio podcast. So, thanks for being here. Uh, we're going to give you a treat here for the next two hours, we think, maybe, possibly. Uh, I typed up all the notes from last week and Wow, uh, quite an interesting start. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap like phone case, cool shirt, shower curtain, shit like that, uh, take a look at it. Uh, the link is down there somewhere. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on the show on Tuesdays on our talk show or a week from Saturday for a one-shot, M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. Uh, we'd like to thank Pirate Dog Dice for Dice that nearly got the party last night in the one shot, which is in the archives. Hilarious. Uh, hit them up if you're looking for custom dice at Twitter uh, at Pirate Dog Dice. Uh, if your game stinks, unlike ours, we smell like success and rot. Uh, Adventure Sense from oddfishgames.com. Uh, they make a plethora of interesting scents, most of them very good, some of them eh, questionable, and those are the ones that you want to get for your players because they stink. Uh, they also make the shine system, so if you want to write adventures or stories like myself, only gooder, check out their shine system. And of course, their hot RPG with their cat. Kickstarter is live, 100% funded in the first 48 hours. Still a few stretch goals out there. The cat armor is off the table, sadly. Uh, but check them out at oddfishgames.com. Like I said, today is the Margu 2 campaign. Uh, these guys last time left the city of Faust after getting dumped from their job as caravan guards. These guys are all fourth level. Uh, and the Garnet Oval Incorporated was bought out by Garnet Inc. Uh, and they have opted to go ahead and pitch out all the old experienced guards who require a lot of moolah to keep on the payroll in favor of younger, newer, flashier guards. Uh, some of these guys are happy about that. Gives them the chance to expand their horizon. Others, uh, not so much. Uh, the good news is Rolf got out of town before having a problem with his love interest, Matilda. Uh, but uh, the party made some friends. Uh, party Did made Matilda some enemies. Out of town before we had. Well, she didn't, Matilda. she didn't. She didn't kill him. So let's introduce. Now that you're caught up, let's introduce you to the people who are going to make you laugh, cry, or think. Uh, how is he doing? We'll start with the veteran, the seasoned member of the crew, Frank Sr. Uh, who are you? Who are you playing? I'm Leon Sphinx Riddler Extraordinaire, Leonon Barbarian. Yeah, Riddler is what I always think of when I think of Barbarian. <laughs> the young, the youngest me. group of the Murder Hobos is up next. Sophia, who are you? Who are you playing? I am Beelzebub. I am a warlock. And you're still alive. Still alive. Yeah. For now. <laughs> the second Frank, or third of the Frank, depending on how you look at it. Frank, who are you? Who are you playing? I am playing Gornak the Mighty, the Leonian Barbarian. And he's a cool guy. There's not really much else to say about him. He's just the best. That's not much to say, He's huh? Not much to say. He's just pretty good at everything and anything. You might. Uh, huh. mm -hmm. uh, and your father is up next. Same questions, different answers. I am Frank Middle. I am playing Barnum, the Death Warden cleric, who, after many of years of battle and healing, has finally given up hope, snap, gone crackers. And he's, he likes death now. We like to add a little death. But, you know, we're still good people. We're good people here. Uh, are we on Bewitched? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the doctor is in. Yeah. Uh, last but certainly not least, AJ. Who are you? Who are you playing? I am playing Rolf, the mountain dwarf fighter. And I am haunted by my past from practicing in the dark arts. And from 
your relationships near that and far is more of haunted in my present on the garnet oval and uh, the future once i get my test results back from the apothecary the death cleric would like to speak with you <laughs> that's so, never good otherwise last, it would have been a phone call that's true uh can you come in and see us <clears throat> last time these guys uh we started off in the town of Faust, uh stop on the garnet oval uh the caravan trade uh these guys got their notice uh that they were out uh for better or worse some of them like i said uh were appreciative of the chance to expand their horizons others not so much uh during their brief couple of hours stay in faust uh ralph had a problem with a love interest her family uh they all had a problem with hendrix the middle management ass kiss of uh the garnet ink now he does not much care for them they also got to meet uh the brotherhood of kaz a group of sorcerers uh one of them helped get them out of town safely while another not so much uh not a big fan of the lion twins here uh feels that they need to be a rug in his study uh they met a few other people uh a one-eyed and a one-armed adventurer who told them about a cave off in the wilderness somewhere in the circle of the oval that they've been traveling several years now uh it was said to be fraught with danger hence the lost eye the lost arm uh and of the dozen adventurers that went in those were the only two that came out. Um, these guys have opted to say, yeah, we'll try that. Uh, we're half as many people, but I'm sure we're much better at it than they are. Uh, they left the town. Uh, 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 left a few miles out and uh, formed a campsite. Uh, we will begin the next day. Uh, and it is starting to rain uh, so lady and gentlemen what say you it's i say we move on we we've already it, it's we spent the night right correct you what guys are all healed it's time to go a little rain ain't gonna <laughs> hurt you. you guys head out now unlike the other campaign you are not traversing up and down these mountains. You are kind of curving around the lowlands, yep. which is a plus. A uh, lot of valleys, a lot of places to hide, a lot of hidden dangers, of course. Uh, the indigenous creatures and plant life are normally uh, not attuned to you guys. However, you are aware of years on the caravan route that uh, bandits and other monstrosities reside in these areas. Hence, why there was a road for the Garnet Oval. So as you head on out, I will take survival checks by all of you. Good. 17. Where's that? 18. 14. Five. A big old five. The lion doesn't know how to talk <laughs> the jungle. Well. Uh, so everybody but Gornak the Mighty uh, sees some disturbance uh, as you forge your way through the uh, kind of peppered mountains. A uh, lot of trees, mostly evergreens in this region. Uh, but uh, all of you, except for Gornak, find uh, signs of recent passing. A quick check of the tracks indicate they are large humanoids, uh, clawed feet and such. Uh, and everybody roll an investigation check. Oh, nat natural 20. 17. Me oh. as well, I'm guessing. I got a 16. I got uh, an 11. Bill got an 11. I got a 14. Ralph, with a natural 20, you uh, find a tuft of hair hanging from one of the branches here. Smells like bugbear have been by here. Uh, mm. Another quick look at the tracks shows that they are jumbled uh, and you can't really tell which way they go. 
It appears as though this might have been a stopping point for them. The rain, of course, is starting to wash away all signs of tracks, but noting that the tracks are here means recent passing. Uh, do you continue to head west, hoping to find the cave? Hmm. Yeah, let's continue west. I'll alert the party members of hey. what I found with this bugbear. Bugbear? Where? Bugbear. Where Every, bear? Everybody bear perception gear. check. Make a witch, <clears throat> make a witch oh, check. Baby. I'm sorry, what? Under ABC. Perception. You get it? Another natural 20. Ooh, I am burning them all up here. Burning this them sucks. all. You're going to die. I'm going to. Yeah, this is not good. 17. Natural 20 is what you say. I got a dirty 20. So Beelzebub and Ralph both at the same time both at the same time spot a body. Uh, it appears to be a smaller humanoid uh, just up the path that you guys have chosen. It is in a small chasm peppered with a variety of trees, mostly evergreen, but some deciduous trees. Uh, the body itself is about 100 yards in, and uh, just stopping, looking, and listening, all you hear is the breeze coming through the chasm. You do not hear any birds. You do not hear any fauna. And the body is just outside the chasm? Uh, the body is at the bottom of the chasm, mangled. Uh, from this distance, you cannot tell if it was a fall victim or if it was somehow murdered. Bum, bum. Damn. I, I assume we're at the bottom of the chasm as well. We came off Correct. from above. Yep. Uh, let's go up to it and investigate for signs of life. And if it's alive, let's kill it. Sounds good to me. Let's go. Sounds reasonable. I want to go right. touch the body. Let's do it. All, all of you head up to the body. Uh, who wants to do the medicine check on it? I will. Medicine yep. check. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead death clerk 18 uh this appears to have been bludgeoned to death uh, clearly it is a smaller humanoid possibly a goblin uh but with the head so beaten in it is hard to say it could be a juvenile hobgoblin at this point in time everybody perception check three twenties in a row come on baby 18 yeah <laughs> 11. Five. Oh. My luck is over. Come on, little Frank. What you got, man? What were we rolling? Ah, I blank. Perception. Perception. He's rolling back. To it's back. just a nine. It's just a small. <sighs> Beelzebub with the natural 20 and Leon Sphinx hear a rumbling. Uh, Leon, you turn around. Up to the left side of this chasm, you see a log whoom, 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 rolling right for you guys. To the right, Beelzebub not only sees another log rolling at you guys, but also a large hairy humanoid. Give me an arcana check, Beelzebub. Find arcana. There you go. Hit it. <clears throat> 14. Uh, you, you think it's a bear? That looks like a bear. Anyway, two large timbers are rolling down the hillside gonna, right for you. I'm going to point and yell to get everybody's attention at the one that I see. Okay. Log! <laughs> Danger! I will look up and see if I can see what he's pointing at. So you're looking to the left for Leon Sphinx. Where are next pointing? Yep, Gornak and Barnum. Which way are you looking? I'll look at Sphinx. Barnum? Sphincter. Hey, don't be looking at my Sphinx. I'm going to let my tail drop down and cover thing. things up here. I'll see what he's pointing at. Uh, Sphinx? You're looking left as well? Uh, Beelzebub, you are the only one looking right, and you see two of these creatures, uh, but ahead of them is the log. You will roll dexterity check for this one. 
Everybody else will roll dexterity check for the other one. You see the plus two? Well, actually, dexterity. Uh, 15. Right Ooh. Go ahead. 10. Mm. At 20, the power has switched. Gornak, uh, is that a it's, one? It's not a one. What is my dexterity? Plus two? Uh, that's just a nice eight. Really getting the big hitters. Ralph, how'd you do? Uh, I did not roll. Seven. Right. From the left side, uh, you guys look a little bit too late, except for Barnum. Uh, Bar and what was yours, Leon? 13? No, mine, mine was a uh, uh, 15. Okay. Uh, Leon and Barnum leap successfully over the tumbling log. However, Gornak, Ralph, and on the other side, Beelzebub, uh, do not time their jump right. And they take a log to the knees for 10 hit points of damage. <sighs> now, uh, everybody on the left side, which is everybody but Beelzebub, roll a dexterity at disadvantage because her log is headed towards you. Beelzebub, their log is heading towards you. You roll at disadvantage for this one. I got a three. I rolled a natural one. Does that still count as a one? Uh, that still counts as a one. All right, then that's a one. Twice. Five. Fifteen. Stop. Just stop. You said it disadvantage, didn't you? Disadvantage. Okay. That's my roll. That's her roll. You killed by logs. <laughs> Gornak, Beelzebub, and Barnum all take 12 hit points. <laughs> Well, it looks like it's going to be an early evening, boys. Uh, everybody, like everybody else takes two unless you pass the dex 12, and then you take none. Oh, boy. Well, I, I can't believe you best. all wandered in. Uh, a war cry is heard, and Beelzebub kind of tries to lift the log out and yells, there's things coming. Uh, there's, things, there's things coming from both directions as bugbears it's, careen down the uh, path. Is the log actually on Beelzebub? It's on Beelzebub, Barnum, and Gornak because they all rolled ones. I'm <laughs> so gonna, I, I'm gonna all need we better there. help them. Leon? I, yeah, I, I'm going to jump down and yeah. try to lift the log off of them. Uh, I, I as well will help. With Ralph that. and Leon, uh, both of you roll strength checks. I'll take the highest roll. That'd uh -oh. be a 23. 11. Uh, the logs off the boys. Uh, try again for Beelzebub. Uh, 30 to 20. 25. I had a 20. Dirty 20. Good enough. Uh, the logs are off both of you, everybody. However, the bugbears close immediately and are in melee range. Everybody roll initiative. Here it says initiative. Just hit the Nine. 19. 15. Oh, wait, I got a plus on that. 21. Six. Hornack. Mm. Yeah. What was the roll? Oh, initiative. Yeah. Initiative. Hooray! Uh, it's a solid 12. They're getting better, slowly. Uh, there are five bugbears, one for each of you. We will start with Leon. You are up first. Yeah. Whichever one's closest to me, I'm going to attack. Sure. Oh, I find my... Killed by logs. Jesus. Uh, 17. <gasps> uh, easily. Oh, I hate... Internet. By uh, 12 points. Uh, Beelzebub, you are up second. You're second. What are you, what is your plan? Um, How's the uh, at will mage armor? Is that taking action? No, that's at will. So it, uh, it just, we'll, we'll call it a bonus action. So just you'll want to cast your mage armor so you've got more protection. That brings your AC up to 18. Ooh. 
You don't have to do anything. It's I know who the tank is. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Sophia, we're going to be in front. Yeah, <laughs> she's a tank, all right. She don't have armor on. <laughs> exactly. We're kicking her directly in front of everybody. She's got an AC of 18. Let her take all the hits. Yeah. She has so far. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try to hit the one that's closest to me. Sure. What? With the Eldritch, Eldritch Blast. Sure, hit it. Whoa. Uh, magic Whoa. number is 16 to hit these things. 16. Whoa. 16. Does 23 hit then? 23 would hit. Okay, the next one. No, no. Here. I thought her Eldritch Blast was supposed to be the way I thought Jason set it up is supposed to be the Eldritch Blast plus her Charisma bonus. Uh, is that it? Yes, uh, to hit. That's okay. a bonus to oh, hit. to hit, not for damage. Correct. Okay, six for damage. Oh, tell him what you hit. How much you hit for? What do you mean? You rolled this. That's your damage. Tell him how much damage you did to that bugbear. You kind of just said it. I know, but you need to get in the habit. Six. There you go. Fair enough. Uh, next up are the twelves. That would be the bugbears and Jornak. Ooh. So, am I going first, or are you going first? I'll let you go first. You aren't going to. Oh, kill thank you. I'll take out my great axe. And I would hit, wait, am I above, am I not under the log anymore? Correct. Your associates have uh, taken the log off you, Beelzebub, and Barnum. We're going to okay, call you the um, beaver triplets. <laughs> all right. I'm going to hit the closest one to me, if there is a sure. closest one to me, with, the, with my big old ass. Let's see if I can even hit it. Watch. Is that a one? No, it's an eight. Okay, fair enough. You missed. All uh, my dice are cursed. <laughs> it's the hand. Uh, Not the, mu the musician, uh, the poor musician blames their instrument on Leon. <laughs> I'm going to cut off my hand and see how I roll. 12 plus four, does a 16 get you? Let's nope. start rolling with a nub. Uh, Beelzebub. 16 plus four, dirty 20, Beelzebub. Yeah, he hit you. Barnum. Another 16 plus 4, dirty 20. Gornak. 12 plus 4, 16. Uh, it's my AC. Yeah, I hit. And wow. 7 plus 4. So if you got hit, and that would be the middle of the order, you are taking 2d8 plus 2. Uh, 6, 3, Two, 11 hit points to you three, and that leads us to the nine, Rolf, the Mountain Dwarf. Come on, Rolf, take him out. Oh, I'm going to hit one of them for sure. 21 yep. uh, to hit, so I do nine damage with my great axe. Yes, but you're not completely dead. Nice. Barnum, you are up. All right. Excuse me, young lady. I am going to cast False Life. Do tell. Is that like a lore? Is it like lead them away? Ten points. Back to me. Hmm. That's what that does. Okay. Fair enough. Top of the order. Leon Sphinx. You're up. I'm going to... I'm going to... Uh... Go into rage. That's a bonus action. Do I attack first and then rage, or I don't? I don't you quite rage. know the. You can rage first. You can take okay. your bonus action first and then attack. All right. I don't know what the book says, but I'm flexible. I it's new for me, so. <clears throat> you rage only once, and then take for. So I now I have, have a now I have a spiny tail. Nice. You're an armadillo? Yeah, pretty much. So that's a 18 and 7, 25. Yep. And that's another 12. Do I roll for the tail also? It, it attack wise. Or does my attack it's it's it does a die eight damage, piercing damage. You would re-roll for that one. All right. I got a question. Mm-hmm. She got hit because I'm not used to this. She has hellish rebuke. Yep. Or 
Eldridge invocation rebuke of Talisman. Mm -hmm. When she got hit, was that supposed to take place right there, or does she do that on her? Because it's where the talisman is hit, the attacker you see within 30 feet of you, you can use your tap re reaction to deal two psych damage and to push them 10 foot away. Yes, that happens immediately. Okay, good to know. Uh, that's another six points of damage. But 18 uh, altogether. Yours falls. You're good. Uh, up to the 15, I'll tack on the two points. Uh, Beelzebub is eight. Beelzebub, you're up. You're up is what he said. You're going to, you, you want to stay tacking the same one you got. I'm going to continue attacking. Eldridge Blast again. You do the most damage right there. Hammer away. I'm gonna you got to roll. Continue attacking the same one, and I'm going to use an Eldritch, Eldritch Blast. Roll the hit. She's learning. 23, that's a hit. You only need 16. So you got to roll for damage. <laughs> and let me know what your damage is. <laughs> Maybe we should have her roll for her brother. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them your damage. You guys suck. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Fair enough. The 12s. Gornash, you no, Frankie. Your roll stuck. Come on, Frankie. Go into a rage, man. No, you already did it, so I'm not going to use mine. That's stupid. So we just waste ours. I'm going to do this thing. Daunting roar. A bonus. Oh wait, does a bonus action do you do that after or before? Either or. Either okay, or. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it right now. And if it doesn't work, then I'll hit someone. Cool. All right, as a bonus action, sir. Per Creatures in your choice of 10 foot can hear it must succeed on wisdom saving throw. Now, do I roll? I roll. Okay, it's a DC 14. One pass, one fail. Okay, cool. Which one failed? Yours, because it was closest. Ah, uh, hooray! Now I'm going to hit it with my axe and see if I can hit it. Uh, Ralph, yours has a hearing problem, so the roar had no effect. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you had to get the one that was deaf. That's too bad because I'm going to yell out something on this next one. Natural 20! Woohoo! I couldn't see it because I was in the dark, but I got it. Now that <sighs> damage, damage modifier? Yep. All right, so I'll just roll regular die. The computer die doesn't work very well with it. Yeah, we've seen your uh, hand roll and die too. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh. So that was a three and an eight. That's uh, 11. 11 plus three. Is that how it works? 11 plus 3. And then that would be 14. 14 there damage you. works. There you go. I did it. That's a, that's a nice one. I Love the it. koozie. Love the koozie, baby. Yeah, wait However, a second. Did you guys get new swag and you're holding out on me? Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, I got your bag upstairs. You just never it's come It's not like I was over there two it. days ago. You Damn. didn't stay long. You just came and ran. I, I was there for half an hour. I uh, believe it was... Uh, Hey, there's a swag over there, boy. <laughs> uh, Leon, you have nobody on you. Beelzebub. Uh, 15 plus 4, 19. She's a pincushion. Uh, 4 plus 4 on Barnum. That's a miss. Gornak. Uh, 16 again plus 4, dirty 20. And Ralph. 18 plus 4, 22. Who, who was attacking Gornak? Oh, uh, his, his isn't down yet? I thought uh, his ran. Oh, that's right. You are correct. I forgot about that. His ran in fear. Uh, so the only two that got hit suffered double fours plus two. So 10 more hit points of damage. It's Yelzebub. Yelzebub telling your talisman. Talisman rebuke. That means if the guy that hits you takes two points of psych damage and got blown back 10 foot. Telling that. Wait. <laughs> Let me explain. Every time a bad guy ran by Frank hits you and attacks you and hits, you have a special talisman that causes them to take two points of mind damage and they get forced back 10 foot. Hey, Frank, is there a save on that? Let me look. Again, I didn't see one. Because I, I know Hellish Rebuke, the uh, spell has one. 
No, this is rebuke of the talisman. Uh, okay. Yeah. No, yeah. Because that this one has two d ten fire. So yeah. Nope. Uh, I, I'm fine with that. She does have hellish rebuke. I just haven't. No I, need to use it right now. Yeah. No, I have no idea how to use it. So we're just going with what we got. <laughs> I've tacked on the two hit points. Uh, that brings us to Ralph the Mountain Dwarf. I'm going to swing Mountain another axe. Man. And I think I'm going to miss with the claw. Just a bit outside as it cracks against their shield. Uh, so close. So yeah. close. <laughs> Just say uh, horseshoes. Come uh, on, dwarf. Yeah, you that's not it, close. 16 to hit, and I'm rolling 12s. The shield has an eyeball with a stick in it. So it's the stick in the eye bugbear group. Uh, <laughs> end of the round for us is Barnum. Barnum, I am casting Cure Wounds on Beelzebub. That is so kind of you to cure me. And me too. Thank you. Oh, that is just Bells so kind. Just got such a nice guy. Back. Oh, how many uh, hit points did she take? Uh, so far, 21. Uh, four, four, and two that last time. Ten. Yeah. Oh, was that puts her at a 21? Uh, Negative plus, three. Didn't she take 12 <laughs> from that log? Yeah, she took, she took 12 from the second log, and I forget what she took from the first log. So she was under. <laughs> so, uh, well, I just cast heal on her for 13. Okay, so she's back up. A little groggy, but back up. Go ahead, Leon. Uh, I don't know. what Who's who's closest to me now? Uh, you can step over and help Beelzebub since... I'll step over and attack Beelzebub. Seat. That'd be from the rear, right? Uh, from the side. They came not, down. Not that it matters. Yeah. All right. Would it matter yeah. if it were me, I bet. <laughs> it didn't matter if it was little Frankie. Once you uh, puzzle Bob and somebody can help me, twenty four. So doing is healing people and getting the shit kicked out. With of that, me. you know, we could eighteen. Would you like 20. some cheese with that wine? <laughs> that would be very lovely, right That's now. Eight and six, fourteen points. Ah, uh, hers is down. So she's doing a fairly decent job of whacking at it. I'll let out a roar, but not that daunting roar. Just a, yeah, I killed his ass. That uh, roar. Beelzebub, as you sit on your butt taking in the uh, excitement, it is now your turn. So you're sitting on your butt right now. Yeah. He wants know to know what you want to do. I don't know. Well, <laughs> there's bad guy in front of Frankie. Nope, I killed mine. Okay, in front of mine. In front of Alex, and there's a bad guy in front of me. You're sitting on your butt with the corpse in front of you. What do you want to do? Loot the corpse. Kill the one in front of me. Wow. Don't be selfish. I'm gonna help Barnum. Do a crap stain. Loot the corpse. All right. So <laughs> do up. a crap stain. You you help me, Bill. I want to stand up and, and go help Barnum. Shoot, shoot the one in front of Barnum. Yeah. Barnum. This is. Yeah, all the way. Oh, did you see that? Barnum gave her a bowl of popcorn. You're hosed, Ralph. I see that. I just no, shared. I, in it. I just shared a bowl of popcorn with her. Not really shared. She kind of. Ralph, come on, let's go. Like, roll, roll, roll. Tell, <laughs> tell, tell him what you're doing. I'm gonna stand up <laughs> and go over to Barnum. No, you're just gonna do what? I'm gonna shoot the one that's by Barnum with that's an Eldritch blast. There you go. Roll, roll it. Well, Maybe I'd rather she not okay. shoot the one that's by me with that Eldridge, Eldridge blast. I don't think she got her brother's dice rolling skill. She got a pair of I'll help her along. 20s earlier. I'll help her along. I'll help her along. I'll touch her. I'll just wipe my hand across the screen just to taint it. Oh, we're muted. No, we're not. He didn't yeah. hear you. That's Frankie's big mouth. Tell him again how much damage. Uh, my damage was six. Blah, 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 blah. I'm so loud. Fair enough. Uh, that puts us to the twelves. Gornak, you and I. Uh, oh, Gornak hit something. That's everything, man. Ah! The, other, the other barbarians making fun of you. Uh huh. Okay. Um, ah! I'll help. Uh, help me, so, Gornak. I'll help Ralph. 
And so are the logs. The logs are going to hit something. Yeah. He's hitting the one on Ralph's. Does that? Can I just go over and hit it, or is that going to take time? No, you can walk over and hit it. All right, I'll take a nice little valet jog over there and hit it. Um. Whew. Okay, that's not. Let's finish this battle out, and then you can. Uh, you won't believe me. If yeah, I we will. <laughs> no, you won't. It's a twenty. Mm, that's why I said enough. you wouldn't believe me. That's why I said you wouldn't believe because I'm at twenty. That's nice. why I said you wouldn't believe me. Yeah, you know what? I want you to start rolling on a computer again so I can see it pop up on my screen. I, you got to believe me, man. I, we don't. Come on, Mark McQuarrie. Do what we say. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's gold, man. Shut only, up. Only Grandpa's going to get that joke. Yeah, I got that joke. I don't get it. That's why. Okay. Mark McQuarrie, um, Joey, they had special dice rolls every roll. Yeah, that's all right. Six, six, I specifically 15, 15, designed games to take all of his stuff away from him. <laughs> Come on, what's 18. your damage, son? 18. 18. That's why I said you guys don't believe me. Fine, I'm going to start rolling on the computer. <laughs> Still Damn alive. Still me. alive. Yeah. <laughs> you got the tough one, AJ. This is bullshit. What is I it, level one? I got one hit point left. Uh, <laughs> but, of course it does. Uh, it's his turn. Barnum's Barnum's is going to go after one Leaf, or I'm sorry, Leon Snake. Leon! Uh, Ralph's is going to go after Odd Even. Odd Gornak. Cool. Uh, so, Leon. Yeah. Two plus four. Not going to hit you. Can I do like a Street Fighter spinning uppercut and finish him off? Uh, do you have a quarter? Mm, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, then no, you cannot. Uh, fortunately for ah, you, he bad. swung and missed with a 10. So, Ralph, now is your right. chance. He's he's bleeding a lot. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to swing my great axe and yell, See you in hell, Yogi Bear. And I miss. Finish. Jesus oh, Christ. God. Uh, Barnum, I didn't miss terribly, but I just missed. Barnum, that brings us to you. I'm shooting the one in front of me. And I miss. Wow. <laughs> Roll to 12. Top Are we going to miss? Killing people. <laughs> Leon, top of the order. Whatever one's closest. That would be Barnum's. All right. 14 and 5, 19. Uh, 6 and 5 is 11. How long does the rage last? That's probably gone, isn't it? Nope. As long as you're fighting. Okay. Then I got one more roll. And that's uh, 21. Yeah, once you stop another six. that's when the rage stops. So 18? 17 points. 17. Still alive. Uh, Beelzebub, you're up. There, Bob, there are two left. One Come on, Bob. Of Barnum, who is fighting Leon, and one on Ralph, who is fighting Gornak. Okay. So um, there's one fighting on me, and there's one, or Leon, and there's one fighting on Ralph. Help Leon. I got right. this. I want to do something cool. Help me help you. Help yeah. me help you. <laughs> so there's one between me and Grandpa, and there's one between your horrible brother and this mean uncle who didn't take. Oh, don't, don't touch mine! I'm gonna do something cool, okay? You gotta believe me. Oh, your brother doesn't want you to help, so shoot his. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. And go. it's only got one hit point left. Don't! I was gonna do something cool because uh, no matter what, I get guaranteed kill <laughs> at least. I'm gonna go for the one by Ralph. Do your shot. Ah! Circle. <laughs> I was going to do an uppercut, and I was going to look. Mm. Ooh, an eighteen. That's a hit. Go ahead. That's just <laughs> you <laughs> suck. He's dead. How damage. How much damage? And big Bye. five points. Down it goes. You guys um, suck. The twelves are up. I will go ahead and go first since I'm not going to survive this round, and I will <laughs> oh, my go. Kill. Five this time. I'm going after Barnum. So I twirl around and go right for his knee. With an 18 plus four. 
<laughs> you used to be an adventurer until you took, took a, a morning star to the to knee. The knee. Oh. Three, seven, two, 12 hit points of damage as you are brought down at the 30 yard line in a big heap. Yep. Heap? Yep. <laughs> That's what you get for sicking her on my kill. I know. I got like six hit points left. <laughs> I know. Could somebody kill this damn thing? I'm going to act of the mighty. What could I do? What could I do? You know, I could sit back. I could watch the situation play out. That's true. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'll go over and hit it, I guess. Actually, is it far? It's not far away, actually. Okay. You guys are in an enclosed area. Okay. In the wide open wilderness. Could I grapple it? hold its head, and then Eldritch Blast it with one hand? Because <laughs> that sounds like something that'd be super cool. You're not a warlock. You're not going to Eldritch Blast anything. Yeah, I can. I have, oh, how can oh, I no, took the no. wild magic path. I have Eldritch Blast. Yeah, and that all depends on what number gets rolled. That, uh, yeah, that also, I might just hold his head and just... Let me there. get the hell out of the county before you start that, would you? Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, if, if you want to grapple him, you got to hit him first. But that right. Eldridge, here's what's going to happen. If you successfully grapple him, then the Eldridge Blast will go off, as will the Wild Magic. If you fail to grapple him, the Eldridge Blast is going to go off out into the sky, but the Wild Magic will occur. Mm, okay, Damn. maybe I won't do that. My allergy blast is rigged. I'll hit with the great accent just to be safe. Okay. What? Oh, come on. Well, well I don't know. I give it an uppercut. Dude, that's that's cool. cool. I think well, you That's okay. You know, uh, you, can, you can play at the back of the party. It'll be I didn't fun. even hit it. I didn't even hit it. <laughs> A feathered shaft comes flying out of the air. Uh, and connects with a 16 uh, right in the skull, and that thing topples to the ground. The feathered shaft came from that away. That away? That way? Everybody, perception check. Oh boy. I got uh, 16. 11. 19. 13. Well, uh, I believe hard enough in the beta, 19 and a half. Sure. It's not going to help okay. you at all. Uh, all right. A large, imposing figure covered in furs begins to stride down the incline. Every one of you recognizes this heavily scarred, balding man with a giant ponytail hanging off the back of his head. Uh, a, a longbow is in one hand, and several other individuals dressed a lot like you marshal in behind him. You recognize this guy as Hamish Tenson, a legendary caravan guard. I mean, top shelf dude. This guy's killed more things and done more things than you guys have combined. Uh, and he begins to laugh at eight. Gornak the Mighty. <laughs> I'm getting bullied today, okay? This is me. Well, I, I and he said, I kind of like this guy. We need to give you a hatchet, son, because you ain't never going to use that axe correctly. Uh, Hamish was the first one canned by Garnet Inc. because he was top dog. He made more money than anybody. Uh, rumor has it he was not happy about that. He comes down and he shakes everybody's hand, ruffles Gornak's mane a little bit, and goes, Just smack his hand out of my mane. You guys again. Just he is with four hand. individuals as well. What are you up to, Hamish? Living the life, living the dream, my friend. What do you know? Uh, going on a little adventure. <clears throat> really? Do tell. 
Yeah, we heard there's a cave of treasure back up in the mountains. We there was a party went up there looking for it. They all got killed <coughs> in the tomb. Sounds like they were as experienced as Gornak here. Oh, yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, how, when can I punch him? So we're going to head out and see what's what. Uh, I've heard of a cave. I didn't hear that there was a lot of treasure in it. but uh, it just rumors and my... rumors, you know? Yeah. I, I, is that the cave that runs off the river? Yeah. I so uh, said there's a lot of snakes around about. Hmm. Interesting. Well, the lake is over there. You guys aren't too far away. You should be able to hit it by nightfall. I don't know if you're going to walk or try and kayak up that river. That river's pretty fast. So I'd say you should probably uh, walk. But Oh, man, I can do it. Sure you can. I'm not, I'm not real fond of big bodies of water anyways. You know. yeah, it is a small lake. Good for fishing. Well, there you go. I don't mind, <clears throat> I don't mind a fish or two. If you want, uh, you can come to our camp. It's safe, especially from these things. Hmm. You'll notice yeah. that uh, Hamish's men are looting the bodies. Yeah, there are bodies. Okay, well, let's. I'll turn to the other guys. So let's uh, see what these things have on them and, and go up. Uh, I'll loot mine that I killed. Hamish's guys have already scoured, and he throws you guys a couple of gemstones that he found on them. Uh, everybody roll a d20. The top three get gems. Natural 20. 14. Mm. Let's see how much of a one I can get. Yeah, uh, that's a nice nine. Click there. Yep. Top one. Then hit roll again. 15. 15. So Leon, Beelzebub, and Ralph all get gems worth 50 gold pieces. Uh, Hamish, Hamish's men are not opposed to giving it to you. They know that those were rightfully your kills. Uh, the clothing that they are wearing is reminiscent of the clothing you wore as guards. So you may surmise that each one of these are guardsmen let go from the Garnet Inc. Uh, mentioned they, to Hamish that we saw uh, what's his name again? Hendrix or uh, that bastard? I, yeah. I hope you. I hope you killed him. No, nope, they get a chance. He's up in whatever the town we were in, and got to all the town guards standing around him. Yeah, I heard he was keeping his sorry ass safe. Uh, you know him. And a bunch of these magic users think there's something special. Magic users. Oh yeah, well, what pretty, kind? Pretty fancy looking uh, robe outfits on them. Elves, led by a one female. She was wasn't too bad. Hamish doesn't seem to know. Looks over to one of his guys. Goes, ah, oh, uh, okay, yeah, uh, Brotherhood of Kaz, right? Yeah. So black robes. Uh, red, That's it. Red, yeah. yeah. Ah, those guys. Ah, some of those guys aren't too bad. No, some of those guys need their smiles wiped off. Who is it? You know? Don't know. Hmm. Oh, well. Yeah, I know been, when I see him. I've been Faust in months. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. dang it. Well, we're going to head back to camp. Uh, All right. Mikasa e Sukasa, if you want to join us. Yeah, we'll follow. Yeah, sure. yeah, that sounds I don't good. want to expend the magic to heal up, so let's go take a nap. Sure. About noon, you guys get to a secluded camp. Every once in a while, Hamish, Hamish will be talking to Leon because you guys are, uh, you guys have both been on the trail the longest. Uh, but you notice that he keeps an eye on everybody. Uh, yeah. Not unusual, because this guy was extremely careful. He once was the sole survivor of a caravan and actually brought it in, tacked, uh, while all of the merchants and guards were killed. Uh, that is where he got all his scars. Uh, but legendary status uh, among the caravans. Is he human? He is human. Okay. Uh, bald, 
long ponytail. Uh, looks Vikingish kind of deal. Uh, excellent fighter. He has a pair of battle axes on his back and his longbow. He takes you in as you reach camp. Uh, you notice everybody's busy. Everybody has a job to do. Everybody's doing their job. They're all dressed like caravan guards. <clears throat> uh, they see you guys, give you a nice hearty ho and hail. Uh, people are bringing in deer, mountain goats, uh, things of that nature. Uh, Hamish goes over to a crudely dug well pit, uh, gets some water, washes himself off, offers you guys to get cleaned up, asks if Beelzebub's going to be okay. She looks a little peaked. She'll be fine. He says, well, if you guys want to get cleaned up, uh, it's about time for noon. Uh, we'll share a meal and swap some stories and you can be on your way. Appreciate it. Uh, you guys all get cleaned up. Again, uh, everybody who's working seems to be honing in. They know what time it is. About time for some food. Uh, this looks like a bandit camp, though. Uh, you guys have been on the caravan trail long enough. You've dealt with bandits before. This is what it looks like. It looks like a bandit camp. Uh, crude camouflage huts are everywhere. Uh, everybody give me a survival check. See if you know where you're at. Nine. Uh, 22. Uh, 25 and Beelzebub. Well, she rolled a four. This is why I need to do my rolls. Bornak? What was it? Survival? I was thinking about how much that's, that's everyone good. here. I healed you. Oh, thanks. I used up most of my freaking magic to heal you 10 something about so, this group doesn't so leon and barnum uh are 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 we close to the north trail uh hamish kind of <laughs> yeah we're pretty close we're stones throw away from the north trail uh in your past you know that bandits hide not too far off the main trail. Uh, so you're taking in the summation of all these items and you're, you're getting the old guard hair on the back of your neck standing up. Uh, but again, you all know Hamish. Uh, he is a legend. Uh, but you're not quite sure that you have a Good understanding of this. Uh, a bell is rung, very nice. And uh, dinner or lunch is served. Uh, there is a line, it's just like a construction line. You guys can go through the line. Uh, Hamish will make sure that you guys have some crude plates uh, for your food. <clears throat> Several logs have been cut down uh, to serve as benches. Uh, once you get your food, you can go sit with Hamish. Uh, he's very polite. He's taking care of business with his top lieutenants. Uh, and everybody can roll constitution to tell me how you like your grub. That's constitution right there. Go ahead and roll it. Uh, 21. 11. 14. It ain't bad. Roll con. Yep. 12. 12. 20 means you really like it. 12 means you're, you're in the middle. Frankie, roll a constitution. Hurry up. Roll a random die. I got him. <laughs> you're making me do things. Well, He's there. Let him roll it. 30. 20. He rolled a dirty 20, according to him. Well, he'd eat the tar off the road if he could. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> you guys sit down. Hamish seems to be directing, uh, I don't know, some kind of mission almost. Uh, he turns back around and he goes, what brings you out into the wilderness, my friends, aside from this cave? Uh, Hendricks canned your asses as well. Oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. Plus, I had to get away from Matilda. 
Man, Sanders. I tell you, I, I just I just want to get back at him. Canned Hell. us and then had the town guard throw us out. That <laughs> son of a bitch. Make him pay for this. I'm surprised the rock nuggets didn't. Uh, but it's been a long time coming for you, Ralph. Uh, you've been warned repeatedly. So if you ever make it to Edgewood, you might want to break it off with her, too. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I do, and you're about to know how it is. He goes, well, if, you, if you're interested in getting back with him. Uh -huh. I, here it comes. We, uh, we aren't real happy with Garnet, Inc. either. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and make sure that our retirement, what is due to us, is rendered unto Hamish. If <laughs> you're interested. <laughs> I had a feeling this is what was going down. You know, it, uh, speaking for myself, I don't speak for the rest of the group. It sounds good, but I want to go. Just got to gnaw on in my crawl to go check out this cave, and I got to do that first. But I'm, I'm with you. I understand they owe us all a lot, and the way they let us go was wrong. Yep. No, hey, I'm not. You know me. I'm not going to force you into anything you don't want to do. I'm not going to ask you to do anything I wouldn't do myself. So I respect your decision. Uh, I hope we can keep it amongst ourselves. Oh, absolutely. But, no worries uh, there. You hey, do what you, you got to do. You got our support. Yeah. 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 Traveling with him now. Just so, out of curiosity, though. Uh, you magic users. What kind of retirement gig are you thinking of there, Hamish? Well, well, yeah, uh, there's a uh, rather hefty caravan coming this way from Homie's Mine, and uh, it's it's pretty heavy. We'd hate to see it break down, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. And it is loaded with uh, brand new guards with no experience. Easy pickings, huh? Hmm. For these guys, easy pickings, easy payday. When about is that caravan going to be rolling through? Late tomorrow. You don't say. Uh, I do mm. say. Mm. Mm. Well, if so, we get back from what we're doing in time, we'll meet up with you. Well, good luck. It's going to take you about a full day getting to that lake. But like I said, there's nice fishing at that lake. I got it. You know, Leon uh, Barnum, I'm pretty banged up here. I might, it might behoove me to just hang out for the day and, you know, rest up, heal up a I'm little bit. I'm taking a long rest, but then I got to start traveling. But I'm definitely taking a long rest. After healing up, at least. Saying, we're going to be here anyway. They might need a hand. That's tomorrow. They're doing that nice. tomorrow. Tomorrow well, night. Ralph, just as long as you know, once you go down that road, you'll be a wanted dwarf. <laughs> and I don't mean by some gnome's father. I was going to say, I feel like I'm already kind of a wanted dwarf. Yeah, they ain't nearly the same. So what it's going to amount to, everybody in that caravan will have to die. Hmm. Hmm. That's not really my bag. I don't mind death, but I like taking the lives of those who deserve to be taken. Hey, Hamish kind of chuckles and he goes, Oh, Leon, you always did have that flair for the dramatic. Uh, Ralph, <laughs> they will be offered the opportunity. We don't want to kill anybody. We've done enough killing. We just want what's due to us. Now, Leon is correct. If they stand in our way, if they value somebody else's money over their own lives, I cannot be, uh, I cannot be held accountable for that. Because mm -hmm. my days of dying for somebody else's money are over. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Me, you, guys uh, are, you guys are welcome to join us. 
or you are welcome to tread across the wilderness in search of your own uh, heroic needs. There are no ill feelings among us. Oh. Everybody, yeah. in, everybody, insight check. It seems like it's from a movie. Is Go <clears throat> is Amish holding a script right now and reading from it? Eight. It sounds like it's from a movie. Twenty-four <laughs> for insight. Uh, fourteen. Sophia. Ten. It's no good. Now you're on the nine. Ralph. Uh, eight. Barnum, you've known this guy a while. You know he's a straight shooter. You know he's, he, he has not lied to you. He never lied all his years. He never lied. He tells it like it is. He's up front. He's blunt. He's obtuse. You kind of believe him. So you think that he'll probably, if the new guards surrender, he'll probably be okay. Okay. Everybody else, I believe you, and I believe you would do that. Something about he goes, these other guys, I don't know if they're going to go through with that, though. Well, Hamish says, make sure they are not going to break that word of yours. Oh, these guys will do exactly what I tell them to do. There's no question in my mind because if not, they will answer to me. I'm just saying. I'm owed, and I will be taking them up on it. Breaking character here. I just feel like I'm being goaded in a direction. <clears throat> I Hamish, Hamish has pointed out. You want to? You want to go to the cave? Go ahead. That's that, that's the cave. Go. It's so far away. I've got these stubby little legs. They got all this time. This is very murder hobo. That's all I'm saying. Isn't that that's weird? Wow. The name of the game. If I were Peter Griffin, I'd say, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he said the name. name. He said the name. He said the funny thing. Uh, he said the thing. Uh, uh, uh. So, so if you guys know. if you guys want the long rest, you'll be headed out after dark. Or you can take the long rest, stay in the camp overnight, and move out in the morning. Well, let me uh, talk with you here, Hamish. Where is this taking place? Down on the road somewhere, close to camp, or uh, it's a fair, fair walk. Fair walk. You guys gonna set up each on either side of the road, come in all together. I uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. That depends on if you're in or not. He goes, you know, gotta protect myself. I get you. Well, Hamish, did you ever think that they may be expecting you to do this? Might be why they picked up all these magic users. I don't know that the magic users are involved with them. Mm -hmm. They seem pretty eager to uh, help escort us out and, or wipe us out. There was only one of them there that seemed like they were only the trustworthiest one. So you're telling me you're friends with these magic users? No, we're telling you one of them kept the rest of them from coming at us. And I get this weird feeling that uh, spoiled my good time. He and trust, but there's some powerful fear of them not disrespecting her. It was just professional courtesy is why we worked with her to get out. See that dagger, my friend? That used to belong to a magic user. He gave, he gave me this scar <laughs> right here. Well, he gave got, me this one here on my took it. No, just, I, I got his dagger, though. Hey, I'm going to turn around and lift my tail. See that hole? I sprayed a magic user with that. I'm going to do the same and say, see that? That was a snake bite. He, uh, he, takes, oh. a, he takes a big swig off his uh, <laughs> wine skin and laughs heartily. He <laughs> finds you guys amusing. I'm uh, laughing. Leon's Leon, laughing. Leon, I... You know what? I don't care. Whatever you want to do, just you guys make up your mind. I'm going to go take a cat nap. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, Hamish, what if we kind of roll more of a support role than an upfront role? I'm a healer. Uh, 
If I get a long rest and I have to pull any guard duty, oh, 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 whoa, 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 what do you mean support role? And miss out on all the fun. If we're going to do this, we're going to do this. I ain't. No, hell no. no. You didn't. Uh, you weren't speaking up, and I didn't want to speak for you and commit you. So it sounds like we're in now, Hamish. Just had to poke the kitty. Support role. Well, you know what? Leon, Leon doesn't seem sold, but I'll tell you what. You guys oh, he's pretty out. beat up. You guys want to take a long rest? Enjoy the fruits of my camp. Mikasa Sukasa. Uh, we are we are a working camp, so it's going to be a little bit loud. But if you want, you guys go over to that tent over there, bed down, uh, wake up for dinner, and you guys can uh, discuss amongst yourselves. If you want to head out towards that snake cave or whatever, fine by me. He goes, I ain't going to tell you my plans until I know you're in. We're right. in. If I'm staying here and we're committing, I'm in. Well, the attack is slated for tomorrow afternoon. It, it's only like noon here. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everybody was yawning and acting. I hell, I thought it was nighttime dinner. That's because you guys get the shit kicked out of you. So, uh, uh, beg your pardon. I am uh, unscathed. Well, Beelzebub uh, is going to have scars from her. Hey, I'm fine. <laughs> And that whiny ass dwarf. You know, if the fighters would have put Listen up here, you little. Run, I might have not got hit so bad. So, every, is everybody going to take the long rest? If you haven't sick, we already took part for long rest. Yeah, I'll, I'll go rest. I'll go rest. Okay. Everybody roll a constitution check to see if all the noise bothers you. Uh, 14. Tell me number. 15. 30, 20. 23. What does that mean? Does that mean it doesn't bother me at all? <laughs> that shit bothered the hell out of me. It means somebody's going to have to wake you up. Uh, what was your mm. roll? One. Uh, one. Yeah, I fumbled. Uh, when you go to add your hit dice for your long rest, uh, you know what? Reroll your hit dice, all of them, and that's how many hit points you got. So you didn't get all of them back, likely. I was, I already, I, I used up all my, I used my magic on the walk because I didn't trust the people around me. My hit points were there, but I oh, used, okay. so I already had hit points and I used more on her. So it was my spell slots were quite taken up. So if, uh, if I to be punished there, I can add, a, I can leave one or two on my spell. Uh, how many spells do you have? How many spells? Uh-huh. I have three oh. slots for second level and four slots for first level, but I got one, two, three, four, five, six first level. So roll a uh, seven uh, for a, eight, nine for a second level. Roll any die odd as first level, even as second level. Odd. First level, one of your first level slots did not get filled because of the banging, the song, the noise, just horrible. Okay. I went uh, ahead and marked it used. You guys go ahead and wake up. Uh, it's dusk. Uh, you can smell soup or stew or something cooking. As you guys exit this tent, excuse me, you notice uh, these contraptions. Uh, they're like log spears. It looks like a wooden horse, only it's it's just a log with a great big spear on it, and it's got four wooden wheels uh, and supports. Uh, it looks like a siege item is what it looks like. Um, and there are about three of these things, and they're all lined up together at the edge of camp. <clears throat> so... Uh, everybody's already in line. You guys will be last, especially Gornak with a 23. He's just like, oh, I can't wake up. Uh, you guys get the stew. It smells good. Go ahead and do a constitution check to see how you like it. 15. Yep, go ahead. 21. Seven for Beelzebub. Roll mine. So go over, scroll up. There you go. 
Kornak. Eight for me and seven for her. Kornak. Oh, God. I rolled a big number, then my screen froze. <laughs> It was, a big, it was a big number, though. Uh, no, I rolled it. You can you can add an infinite amount of dice on here to roll at the same time, and I roll. He rolled a seven because he's taking too damn long. No, right. I'm roll hey! Uh Gornak and Beelzebub, you find bandages in your stew. Beelzebub. You find the tip of a finger. <laughs> yeah. The bandages were holding on. Leon <laughs> <laughs> comes over and sees that. And goes, you want to eat that? I don't know what you guys' problem is. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was bad. I'm going to ask the chef for the recipe. Did you look at it? No, I'm not touching that. Take the band-aid and put it in his call it seasoning. Here, have more seasoning. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Are you uh, gonna eat that finger? Uh Hamish is missing, by the way. I'm gonna ask about him. Hey, where's, where's Hamish? Where's Amish? He's uh where's Amish? He, he's working on uh an assignment. Where at? I don't see him. Hey, questions. Uh, he'll be back shortly. What's with the big logs? What's going on there? I thought we were hitting a trail line. What's going on? Back there? It's an armored convoy. Oh, uh, you're going to use that to penetrate the uh, wagons. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, as, as, as a caravan veteran you guys all realize that very rarely does an armored caravan come through hmm. uh, they're usually heavily armed and carrying something of immense worth uh, the last time you even saw a caravan that was armored uh, it brought Hendrix to Faust hmm. But this one, uh, if you didn't catch it, is going to Faust from Homie's Mine. Homie. Oh, oh, Homie. Oh, so Hendrix was on the caravan that took that heavily armored one to Faust. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that there, Leon? What's that? They said these... These are rams to attack this heavily armored caravan. And as experienced caravan guards, we know that you rarely ever have heavily armored caravans, just heavily armed caravans. And the last time we saw anything like this was when we met Hamish on when he he was on one going to Faust. Now this one is going from this mine to Faust, and it's heavily armored. You get everybody, home. everybody, insight check with that information. Yeah, stupid, I guess. One, nine, twelve. We're both twelve. Insight. Yep. Yeah. Do you do you know how to roll insight, Frankie? Want me to do it for you? Shut up. Just uh, roll a one and add zero. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what I did. Uh Ralph. There's something wrong with this picture. You aren't sure what exactly, but your vigor for doing this is calling it into question. Everybody else postulizes that uh, uh, probably loaded down with some good stuff. I mean, you know, you don't bring in an armored caravan holding nothing. Yeah, I'll continue to explain to them that after my long rest that I'm a clear head is prevailed, and I don't think this is as good of an idea as it sounded like a few hours ago. You were the one talking it up that you wanted to do this shit. Don't well, I mean, I, I was just saying, the, the cave was far away, I was tired, this was right here, but... You didn't have any might all... <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I took some mud all. I'm gonna look at. You know? I'm gonna look at Barnum and say, "Are you sure that's a male dwarf? You know the females have got beards too." <laughs> and they look the exact same. I am going to drop my drawers and say, "Does this look like a female dwarf?" Yep, I love. Yeah, I love. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose I walked into that one. Yeah, you did. <laughs> It's so cold out that it retracts into you. That's right. It's cold. You're in the mountains. It's cold. So it retracted into you. So you look like a woman now. Uh, that's, that's, down, that's, you know, it's excuse. Poor He's life. that's the problem. You should be used to that. What the <laughs> hell is that? Is that a second belly button? <laughs> <laughs> Moving along. So uh, er, now the rest of you uh, have not changed your opinion at all. Hey, we're on. So what's your problem, Ralph? What's the problem, Ralph? I'm just, you know, siege weapons to attack this caravan. That's just a little bit out of the norm. And I don't like, I don't want to go in. I don't have a good feeling about this if it's going to require siege weapons. Oh, quit wimping out there, Ralph Lena. Everybody perception check at disadvantage. Roll your perception twice, take the lowest number. That's what this is. That was still pretty good. 16. Um, at that disadvantage. 19. There you go. Five. I know who your brother is. <laughs> <coughs> Gornak and Barnum. 14. He knows he's muted, right? Nobody can hear you, Gornak. You're muted. There we go. I rolled an 18. I rolled the metal dice. At this disadvantage? Dice. Oh, on disadvantage? Oh. Yeah. That turned very quickly into an 11. <laughs> it's bad. Uh, Ralph and Leon. You notice a bugbear going into one of the tents. Mm. A bugbear? Another bugbear. We have to go kill it. Do we was do we recognize which I, tent it was? Do we know enough about this area? The tents? Not Hamish's, it's somebody else's. Mm. Uh, nobody finds it funny that bugbears that attacked us are now walking into a tent. Casually. I got to turn the light on here. Yeah, I find that very funny, and I still, this feeling that I have is getting worse. I think we should reconsider. I'm going to point out the bugbear to everybody. Uh, you guys catch the tail end of it, a large furry creature going into a tent. Yeah, I'm going to say that was the bugbear. In case you don't know, that was the creatures we killed yesterday on the road. Or earlier today, earlier today, today yeah. Earlier today on the road. Wasn't that a little suspicious that he's got the same creatures just casually walking around here that attacked us? It's not the same ones that attacked us because we killed all of them. Or excuse me, a couple of us killed all of them. Are we sure? I'm gonna look right at that. I'm gonna look right at that dwarf. <laughs> yeah. Zombies. <clears throat> I don't think you killed all of them because a few of them apparently were back here at the. Uh... I'm a, I'm gonna walk over to the tent. I ain't shy. I'm gonna get that religious symbol out of my pocket and start muttering to myself some uh, hail marys. I guess. Uh, are you gonna look in, Leon? Yes, I am. Uh, as you look in, there's a bugbear head on a cot and ruffling through a trunk. Is a bugbear from the feet to the neck, but a human head. It's like a small bugbear, but with a human head. I'm going to step in the tent. Uh, the individual turns around, and you recognize it as one of the guards that was with Hamish, dressed up like a bugbear. No, I ask, what's, what's with the bugbear suit? What, what, what's going on? I find it comfortable. 
Bullshit. What's with the bugbear suit and the head? Don't tell me that head's comfortable. I'm assuming it's a real bugbear head. Oh, yeah. Hollowed out. <laughs> uh, He's a furry. It's We're getting ready for tomorrow. I still don't understand. You'll have to talk to Hamish. Where is hey, Hamish? Hamish? Where is yeah. Hamish? Last time I knew he was out. Should be back any minute, though. All right. All right I'll talk to Hamish. I'm going to go back out and tell her by what I saw. Well, you're not going to go far. I'm sure, I'm I'm sure they're not going to understand. <laughs> no, Just I think understand. the shining. <laughs> the shining with the go. bunny. Uh, about 10 minutes passes. This light's starting to dim. It's starting to get dark even in the mountains. Uh, and Hamish, followed by two of his lieutenants, come trodden up over by the wooden rams. I'm going to go up to Hamish and kind of take him hey, aside. Hey, 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 hang on just a second. Hang on just a second. Uh, 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 what you got? Hamish, I don't know if you knew about this, but one of your guys likes to dress up like a bugbear and go running around in the woods. I think he's a little touched. He points over to his right. Is that not what? You look over to the right, and here come a couple more guys. Dressed like bugbear. Bugbears holding the heads underneath their arm. What the hell is this, Hamish? Some kind of cult? Just taking extra precautions, my friend. Precautions? Uh, are they going to be sneaking up? On the caravan in them mountains? <laughs> Let's just say we aren't going to leave a calling card of our own. Ah, okay. Mm. Okay. So hey, I, I'm, I'm going to get go back to my own little group here. And I, them, why I, do you think the group is... I'm with you right there with Hamish. I, well, I don't know where anybody's at because nobody's talking. I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm following you. All right. You went to the bugbear tent. I followed you there. You went over to Hamish. I was following you there. Well, I'm walking back to the other ones then. And I'm going to tell them, I think they're disguising themselves so that they, the caravan people don't know who they are when they attack it. Everybody roll perception check. Go ahead, so. Five. Fifteen. Three. Eight. Eighteen. Thirty. Twenty. For Sophia. Me. Me. And 25. 17. Warnack? 17. Am I muted? No. 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 Okay, uh, good. Everybody, yeah. everybody but Rob <laughs> uh, notices a couple of uh, his henchmen, for lack of a better term, uh, ferrying three people with uh, bags over their heads, and they take them into a tent. Uh, the hands of these individuals are tied. Do we see Hamish anywhere? Uh, he's over talking to his lieutenants and the bear bug people. You know, I'm, I'm going to say, I, I'm starting to like this even less and less. Heading up to Hamish. Uh, uh, hang, 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 on. On. hang on. I'm going to gonna follow go. him. Okay. Follow. Hang, hang on. Hang on, my friends. Hang on. So he has you step back a little bit. Uh, the small group is kind of talking in hushed tones, covering their mouths. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Hamish appears to be agitated about something. Uh, and he pokes one of the bear bug, uh, bug bear guys in the chest and then backhands him pretty significantly, knocks him right on his ass. Uh, the guy jets back up, puts his hands down to his side, stands at attention, uh, and Hamish waves him off and uh, puts on a smile. What's up, Barnum? What can I do for you? Couple questions. You all right over there? You seem a little uh, turbed. You know, when I give an order, I expect it to be followed. That's always been my mantra. There's no question about it. This is who I am. 
These guys know that. <clears throat> just a small, small amount of miscommunication. Uh, just well, curious here. I mean, I've seen some things kind of odd here, Hamish, and you know, you're not giving me any clues of what's going on. <clears throat> well, I, I, you know, I, I haven't heard a yay or nay. He goes, he said you know, yay a while ago. So you're in. What? Well, now I got a question because there's a lot of things going on here. It makes me look like, why do we have Rams? And who were those three guys with bags on their head? I thought we weren't hurting people. They walked in. They aren't hurt. Right now. He said that we aren't hurt people stuff. I'm going to let out a lion nine chuckle. <laughs> uh, the caravan tomorrow is armored. So we need to make sure that we are prepared to knock that thing off its wheels. I'm going to raise my hand and say, what do you mean by armor? Is it one big thing or is it like a bunch of them? This is a three armored wagon convoy. Mm. Most caravans okay. aren't armored, though. So Correct. What's so special about this one? There's three armored wagons, my friend. What do you think special about it? Full it's of coming, what? It's coming from homie's mine. Mm. Should be here tomorrow at dusk. Dusk they're tomorrow. To, they're due to pull into Faust way late at night. Who are those three people? Just travelers. Wrong place, wrong time. Just hmm. travelers, huh? Yeah. Beezlebub, what are you doing? Hey, Barnum, a word? Bob. Are, are you making that face at Hamish? No, I'm just being bored. Well, well get involved. Why don't you ask a question? <laughs> I don't know what to ask. Yeah. <laughs> Who does? I, I'm being uh, those purposely vague about this. Uh, Ralph, you wanted to talk to Barnum? Yes, I do. Yeah. Barnum, this is not good. What do you mean it's not good? Yeah. No, the, I, I can feel it. The juju is bad. That, this, are you brushing Leon? <laughs> am I what? Are you combing Leon? No, this is the, the holy symbol that I had in my pocket. Is that, that your comb that for is that the comb for your crap? Hey, your hey. Comb? Yeah, I, I, caught him. I was I was taking a nap, caught, woke up, caught him combing out my tail. <laughs> <laughs> This is bad. Kitty warm. <laughs> I know what I'm going to start saying as my uh, Hail Mary from now on. Yeah, baby. Uh, kitty warm, kitty little yes, this is not good. We need to not participate in this tomorrow. This is. Well, I don't I think he'll let us not. You might want to talk to more than just me because if we're backing out, we got to back out now. But I mean, we're kind of deep. I don't know if we can. Uh, I assure you, there's always ways that we can pull out. I'm going to go look for some more to eat. Sure. I didn't get I didn't get one of those tasty bits. Sure. No, you can go. Uh, Ralph, did you see that written over the bar at the pink house? <laughs> I did. Yes. <laughs> Okay, uh, it, it's up to you guys entirely. Hamish, Hamish is going to be very busy the rest of the night to fine-tune the plans. So uh, you won't be able to talk to him until tomorrow morning. I'm going to wander over near the tent where those guys walked in. You know, not like directly at it, kind of mm -hmm. off to the side to see if I can maybe hear what's going on. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, there are two guards outside the tent. Uh, and all you hear is uh, sniffling. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, it sounds like Gornak after he rolls. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't oh, like man, any that's, of you anymore. That's so cold. I'm getting the war wagon and <laughs> running off. Ow. No love for the Gornak. So, None yeah, of you are getting help ever again. As you pass, these are like Civil War tents, just canvas yeah, uh, triangles. Uh, but yeah, apparently there's two guards, bored shitless, 
uh, standing outside, maybe smoking tobacco or something. It's kind of past the time. Uh, hey, you, is that catnip I smell? That is not catnip. Damn, damn. That's called Carolina Carnage. Man, you know, Gornak, I'm thinking you can ride, you can ride one of those rams, and it'd be like Doctor Strange Love and How I Saved the World. Nice, ride that baby all the way down. That is a solid reference, right there, ladies. Absolutely, and excellent film, excellent. I, I think it will probably end the same way for him as it did for Peter Sellers. <laughs> yeah, <Sellers. laughs> yeah, it will. <laughs> so uh, clearly. What we're yeah, gonna do? There's there's some options here, and that's why I'm here. Okay, those I'm, options. I don't I'm care. I'm sitting by the fire having something to eat. You guys, whatever you're doing, decide what you want to do, and let me know. Um, we already know we Ralph wants to cave, or are we going to see where this goes. Ralph wants to run, so I guess it's be, and I'll do whatever. Between Gornak and Beezabub and Barnum, decide what you want. What do you want to do? You want to stay and rob the caravan? I'll stick around. I want to see what the things look like. That sounds pretty risky to do. Everything, in my opinion. Everything's risky in a murder hobo. Yeah. 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 The, do, the, do the armored wagons just look like war wagons from Red Dead? But instead of a Gatling gun, it's just a magic Gatling gun that shoots like lasers. Uh, you guys have only seen maybe one or two armored wagons. You've never seen three in a caravan. Right, yeah, it's before. just a heavily wooden wagon. Wooded. 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 Well, I didn't so, know if it had metal on it. You need to consider if they've got three armored wagons, how many armed troops are going to be guarding these things? Or magical troops inside of those. So that well, armor. I don't got to be on the front line. That armor is only good as long as you keep people away doesn't matter how well armored they are if, if all the guards die mm -hmm. make decision what are we doing we're i don't care out. so that's two for out gornak you want to hit the wagons you don't i'm gonna get the wagons gornak. Barnum, it's up to you now it's two and two you know what it's on your shoulders Robbing. No. Nope. Look at him covering his face. I want to see that grin. Get that hand down. <laughs> Here we go. Odd as we go, even relief. Odd we go. Here's yeah, okay. If we're leaving it up to chance. So uh when are you gonna leave? After we eat. Are you already, already ate? Oh, you're, gonna, we eat? you're gonna leave at breakfast? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No reason to leave in the middle of the night, but nope. I think we should post the guard. No, yeah, well, if, unless you're going to wait and tell him in the morning. I'm telling him in the morning. Not if you're telling. Huh? Go. Uh, Do what you need to. Okay, so uh, you, who, who wants to take first watch? Who wants to take second watch? Who wants to take third watch? I'll go first. I'll take third watch. Take one of them. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go last. Last. Ralph, uh, you get woken up from everybody else's turn. Oh, shit. Uh, you move out to the edge of your tent. You're looking around. Camp is pretty dead. There are two campfires here, both low on embers. Every once in a while, uh, a sentry wanders by, and you look over at the tent where the prisoners are, uh, and you see and they just kind of slump down at the entrance and they're just sawing wood. Uh, give me an insight check to see if you can tell what the guard, the, the uh, sentry schedule is. Insight. 11. 11. Oh, yeah, you, you're pretty sure you got this down. <laughs> you, you figure you got at least five minutes uh, while the sentry's gone before he gets back. I am going to slip my chain mail off so that I can increase my stealth. Naked. 
You're naked. Nothing prettier than. I'm see, gonna look, over guys, I was, I was right. It is female. <laughs> it's cold out here, damn it. It's early in the morning. You know, if you set your tent on fire, you'd probably be a lot warmer. <laughs> I, I will hold off on that. Yeah, I'm going to clink over there and watch, to try to peer it. I'm just going to try to sneak into that tent where the prisoners are. Sure. Right, give me a stealth check. That's why I took my chain mail off. Make the move. I didn't need to take it off with a five. Oh, sorry. Yes, five. Did you get air out of the throat just then? So the guard wakes up briefly. But, I'm going to freeze. But, he, <laughs> but he doesn't have dark vision, so he can't tell you're lurking around. He's naked, trying to sneak into a tent. Totally naked. I'm going to blame it on trying to find the latrine if yeah. he wakes up. Uh, you can go in. Uh, there are three people with bags over their head. Uh, you have dark vision, correct? Yes. Uh, one of the female. Great. Clearly a female. Well, no. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Yeah, I'm going to go up to the female and do I recognize any of them based on their uniform or their clothing or anything like that? They have bags over their head. Uh, the clothing, uh, merchants, merchants' clothing. Hmm, okay. Nobody that I may have seen before with any identifying paraphernalia patches. Are they your height? Are you asking like that? Uh, no, think Venice merchants travel on the road. Okay. I guess. Are their hands bound too? Hands and feet? Their hands are in front and their feet are bound. Okay. I will lift the bag off the female's head. Uh, I'm going to go like this. <coughs> Does she figure I that out? Scream if the naked dwarf took a bag off my head, that <laughs> Don't tell me why. Uh, a look of terror, <laughs> terror crosses this late teenager's face. Oh, and, great. And she, she has a gag in her mouth that it wraps around her head. Uh, and she, <laughs> I'm, I guess I'll ask her, I'm going to whisper to her. Who are you and what are you doing here? And then I'll... <laughs> and then I'll say, be very quiet. I'm going to take your gag off. That sounds oh, wait, creepy. Guard. Oh, you're going to get us all killed. Not all of us. You guys are nice and sound asleep over there. <clears throat> so are you going to take the gag out of her mouth? Sure. Uh, don't hurt me. Who are you? I'm just a traveler on the road and an old friend of uh, some of the people here. Where These people are, are highwaymen. You're highwaymen? They're highwaymen. Your friends are highwaymen. Yes. My, fa my father and his uncle and I were just traveling down the road and these desperados descended upon us and took our wagon and captured us. Who do you work for? We're independent silversmiths. Headed to Faust. Apparently there's a job opportunity that starts tomorrow. Hmm. Did they say anything else to you? Why they captured you? Nope. Um. Hmm. So they you just... Got, you, you've got to let us go. I'm not sure I can do that. Just cut my bonds and leave the dagger and I will free us and we will leave. We, well, we, will, we will not tell anybody. You know, if I cut your bonds, what are you going to do for me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one didn't go dark. Oh, no, no, what no, are you no. going to do for me? 
I, I, I will not turn you in. The guard is nodding off. You have about five minutes before he wakes up. Well, didn't you read it and then go, so it would be less? I, I guess I will cut her bonds. Are you going to leave a dagger? Make a dwarf? <laughs> no. <coughs> I only have the one dagger. Is there another dagger in the area? Can I see? I didn't know you brought a dagger with you. I don't you. think I even brought a dagger. Uh, the two guards outside have daggers. <laughs> yeah. I, with my sausage dwarf fingers trying to do a dexterity roll on that. I'll look around for something to cut it, but uh, if I don't uh, have anything with me, I'll have to come back. Uh, eight. Uh, there's a rock. Maybe you can... Watch your tire. I could try to untie her with these sausage fingers. Give me a D20 roll. Well. Yeah, you get her untied. Okay, yeah, yeah. There. She quickly starts to work on her feet. <laughs> uh, keep very, an eye on you. Quiet. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. If you're ever in Faust again, uh, <laughs> stop by and we will reward you. Uh, my father, David, uh, is, is very wealthy. I'm going to tell her... Don't go back to your caravan. Something bad is going to happen. Uh, it wasn't a caravan. It was just or a three your bus. cart, whatever it was, her wagon. Okay. Okay. Thank you. As must you. run. Thank, and, and as she starts to figure out what's going on, she kind of looks down. She's like, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> it's cold outside. <laughs> yeah. Thank it's you, my lady. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm not a lady. <laughs> My Hello, ma'am. How are you? <laughs> she uh, <laughs> she pulls the bag off the other two uh, heads. Uh, standard humans. Uh, nothing remarkable. Beard, mustache. Uh, she begins to work on their bonds. What do you want to do? I'm getting out of here. Sure. Give me another stealth roll. Oh, boy. Here we go. Fifteen. Uh, you make it right back to your tent, and the sentry comes up and he goes, "Halt! Why are you?" It's cold out here. That explains one question. Uh, I got eyes <laughs> up here, sir. What are you doing, high. wandering the camp? Up. I had to take a dookie. <laughs> oh, like you said, dookie, and not anything else. Yeah. Uh, do you have any more questions about my bowel movements, sir? He's already walking away. Puts his hand up. I wouldn't go too far. It's over there somewhere. Mind your steps, sir. Uh, you have now returned. Uh, give me a perception check. Uh, 19. Uh, you see three silhouetted figures take off for the woods. I'm going to note which direction they go. Looks like Faust. Okay. <clears throat> Where the caravan's oh. going. Morning breaks. Pay attention. The camp is a hive of activity. The morning biscuits and gravy are a bruin. Uh, oh. Java is being roasted, uh, as is every other computing language. I'm in front of the line. Oh. I've been an eye finger somewhere. <laughs> Every other computing language. Are we going to gloss over that? That was gold. That was gold, man. Fortran. Was gold. There was Fortran like a Bruin. Come on. Yeah. Uh, oh, well. we, we play fast and loose here on Murder Hobo, folks. Uh, <laughs> so, so you guys get in line, but then you notice uh, shouts for guards uh, arise. Oh, and I'm not, I didn't tell anyone else in the party what happened yep, last night. I'm ignoring They were all sound asleep. I smell yeah. a sausage, baby. No, Ralph is not anywhere near you. <laughs> More of a, uh, I said cheese. I, I believe I said sausage. Yeah. Not you, cheese. Guys, you, okay. you guys get in line with the others, uh, but yeah. th then you see uh, your old friend, uh, Hamish, and he's he is not happy. He is pissed off. Royally pissed off. 
Uh, and they seem to be all centered, their attention is focused on uh, the tent that uh, Barnum had wandered by yesterday where the prisoners were at. Uh, and Hamish yells and cancels food service. We have missing people that we need to find right now. Everybody form into teams. Let's hunt these guys down. Can we do it after breakfast? No, breakfast oh is canceled. Uh, I want him found now, not after, after breakfast. Not after so, CSI. <laughs> now. As soon as he turns around, I'm grabbing one of them sausages, half cooked, whatever it is, Woo! and it's going <laughs> with me. D20. <laughs> Damn right, buddy. Let's see if you pull Ralph. 18. Okay, you oh. grab one of the sausages. Uh, the cook starts. You look genuinely everything. disappointed that you didn't grab your sausage. Uh, and Hamish is, you guys go here, you guys go here, you guys go here. Uh, and he looks at you guys and he goes, are you in or are you out? What are we? Out. Out. We're out. We're out. out. Well, do you want us to help you find somebody first before we go? Uh, who is it? What are we looking for? The uh, three. You know what? We'll find them ourselves. It'll be are fine. You sure? sure. Okay. Okay. Positive. You guys, right. best of luck. Hamish, uh, good luck best of luck to you. Thanks for the hospitality. Good, good luck. luck. Hope that everything works out for you. Hey, he, he kind of folds his arms and kind of watches you guys as you're leaving. Everybody insight check. Ooh. Oh, natural 20. 19. 20. Six. Well, what's my insight? It's, plus two. Oh, it's 14. Hmm? Uh, Barnum and Leon. Uh, he's, he's starting to but what? wonder. He's starting to wonder. Uh, but he doesn't move. Stands there with his arms crossed. Watches you guys head off. We're just going to head towards the cave. Uh -huh. To the cave. To the cave. <laughs> well, down to the lake to get to the cave. Sure. Uh, you guys head off. Uh, you come into more conifer mountains region. Uh, everybody give me a, just a straight up D20. Nine or six. I'm sorry. It's got a point there. Six. Fourteen. Six. Barnum and Gulak. Uh, uh, what are we rolling on? Or with? Straight up. Straight, Straight, 20. 20. Straight up, knucklehead. All right. Dang. 10. Let's see what I would roll on the computer. All of you are happy. This is a gorgeous day uh, because it is stormy. <laughs> <laughs> It is storming again, uh, but you were trodden through. You're all pretty sure that you missed the bullet uh, of what this problem was going to be. Uh, so you're, you're kind of just cruising along. Uh, the lightning is starting to drop a little bit, uh, mostly back behind you where the camp was. Uh, every once in a while, you hear a nice crack of thunder. Uh, and see Back where the lightning. camp was? Mm -hmm. So you're ahead of the front, or the front has already passed by you. You're still getting rained on, uh, but you're going to trudge along for four hours. Uh, you aren't going to see much of anything. It is just a voluminous amount of rain. It's starting to weigh you down a little bit. You're starting to get soggy. Your burrow's kind of being pissy about it. Uh, but then uh, the clouds start to break up. Uh, it's partly cloudy. Uh, there's a bit of a chill in the air because you guys are soaked. Uh, but as you stand on this hillside, just ahead of you, in between pastoral pine trees, is this blue lake. Ah, yeah. Lake. Blue. Nice, uh, pretty. Nice, pretty blue lake. <laughs> Excuse me. As you guys move down the road, <clears throat> or I'm sorry, down the hillside, uh, 
This is a beautiful lake. Uh, you can build a summer home here. I mean, this is a nice place. Uh, it, it's a kind of a hex-shaped lake, uh, or more of a fidget spinner uh, look about it. Uh, up near the crease, uh, you can see this, this river feeding this lake uh, down just right into it. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. It's, at some point in time, it's going to be called Lake Reno, uh, and it's just going to be a, a haven. Uh, but for right now, it's just a big old lake. Every once in a while, fish jump out. Every once in a while, an eagle comes by and cool. snatches a fish. Just beautiful. Everybody give me perception checks. I don't see shit. I'm 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 staring at the fish with my three. Sure. Twenty four. The unland, I say. Mine is also with three, but my perception gives me plus yeah. four. So <laughs> kitty I'm, cats I'm, want fish. Well, I got a seven, so I'm just a little bit better. Ralph's this lake is so beautiful, so blue. We should keep Reno blue. Barnum. Uh, there's a just a very thin tendril of smoke coming beyond the shoreline off to the right, maybe a mile or two away. And it, it's just coming up from the trees. Just It's like a campfire or something uh, from your past experience. Everybody else is... Oh, uh, Y'all wow. see that? It looks like a fire over there, like campfire. I think somebody's making camp over in that area. Yes, you and I yeah. both saw it. Okay. You guys not see that campfire? I do now. It's over there. Not to point it out. Not see the what time of the day is it, approximately? Noon. Noon. Campfire okay. over there. Yep. Is that the? I believe is that the direction that we need to go, anyways? Yep. Let's head that well, way. Well, you can you can go either way around the way, but you want to get to that river. We might as well go that way then. We'll go down to, more to the shoreline, or you want to stay just a little bit off the shore? Well, hold on. Do we know which side of the river we need to be on? Because this could really help us out in the future by not having to cross that. No, way. actually, I don't think we do, do we? Do we not have a map? No. Uh, no. Hamish, Hamish, had, Hamish had a map. <laughs> where's Copious with his magic scroll case when we need him? In another Dude, part of the world. Uh, in another universe, possibly. Okay. I'm, yeah, let's go. With yeah. a bunch of amoral people that wouldn't want anything to do with us, except maybe to hang a couple of us on their wall. Yep. So you're, you're going to go to the right. Yes. We'll go to the right. Stay just off the shore. I don't think we should get down to the shoreline. It kind of exposes us to view. Yeah. <laughs> way, uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to kind of roam out ahead a little bit. <laughs> Sure. Uh, you notice uh, some deer, some elk uh, down at the edge of the uh, lake, just getting a drink of water. You see a couple rabbits, uh, maybe a beaver or two floating around, possum, just standard woodland creatures, uh, pastoral settings. I, I mean, it's a uh, uh, who did all the uh, Norman Rockwell. I mean, this, this is just gorgeous, just gorgeous. Peaceful, not a care in the world here. I would I'd rather say uh, Bob Rossi. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, Bob Rossi. You know, yeah. We can, uh, we, we can paint Rosset. a few clouds right here. A little yeah, happy yeah. accident. Happy yeah, clouds yeah. up here. So <laughs> as, as you guys get closer and closer, Over in this you, you can see the tendril of smoke, but you cannot see where it's coming from. The, the woods here are pretty thick, uh, but you have a bearing, but it is off from the lake a little bit. Uh, so you can continue around the lake, follow the river, head towards the cave, or you can go ahead and uh, veer off and uh, check on the smoke. I want to check on the smoke, but I want to move a little bit more cautiously. Sure. Yeah, same everybody, here. Everybody roll That's stealth. Stealth. Roll what? Stealth. <laughs> Wait, everybody's yeah. doing what? Stealth? I assume my chain mail's back on since I'm not walking around naked anymore. Right. 16. So I'm rolling at disadvantage with an 11. Oh, wait well, a minute. I have half plate. Is that disadvantage also? Yes. Okay. No, no, no. You're fine. Don't matter. You roll an 8. Uh, still 16. 8. Uh, she rolled an 8. I rolled a 12. So some of you are kind of quiet. Some of you are not so quiet. 
but you move through the woods, and just ahead of you, using the trees for cover, is a clearing. And in this clearing is a log cabin, two stories. It's kind of tilted uh, from an engineering perspective. You aren't exactly sure how it functions or why it functions. Uh, and then the chimney is on the, the second floor. Uh, it's made up like candy and cookies and gumdrops. I was thinking, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> it is made of logs. It is a log cabin. It's just an unusual construction. Uh, outside in the clearing is a man uh, wearing kind of overall type things, uh, using a, a foot pedal saw. Uh, he has, I think, four boys. Hang on a second. Four teenage boys are lifting logs onto this platform as the father pumps the saw to move. Uh, a woman and a daughter, early teen, maybe 12, 13, uh, are gathering crops from a small garden. Uh, all, all the men are dressed the same and the girls are dressed the same. They have sundresses and bonnets. Uh, the men have, you know, straps that hold their pants on, uh, long sleeve shirts kind of rolled up. Looks very, uh, little house on the prairie-ish. Okay. Uh, and they what are, time dressed... are we... what? What time is it? Uh, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Okay. Hmm. And they're, they're just, <laughs> Yeah, they're the Waltons. I want to look back at everybody else. They're humanoid or human looking, right? They are human looking. I'm going to look back at everybody else. Since I'm the only one that looks like those who are out there, why don't you let me? I figure we'll introduce <coughs> ourselves. Why don't you let me go out and talk first? Go. Fine. So go. I'll, I'll walk. Why can I walk out there and just, ah, how's it going? I'll wander oh, <laughs> I wander out with my hands up, going "Heidi ho, neighbor." Oh, okay, Heidi ho, neighbor. Oakley, Oakley. Me and my fellow travelers are just weary travelers on our way on an adventure, and we were just passing by. We saw the smoke; it looked inviting, so we thought we'd swing by and say hi. Let you know we're out here. Uh, are ye daft? I see only you. That's right, I know. Let me just say, my friends are a Different. little on the strange side, and for certain people, they can be a little frightening. I can oh, wipe them out. If you uh, have no ill will against us, we shall not be frightened. Please, uh, walk up. please have them come in. I'll run up to them and say, Hi! <laughs> what you see. <laughs> I am Barnum, and this is my magic freaks. Come on out, guys. <laughs> I'm going to do the jazz. Ah! Wave it. my hand. This. Since we're having a little bit of theatrics. No, nobody's doing handstands or cartwheels. I really want no. some acrobatics to come out. That's an, ac that's an acrobatic. <laughs> right there. Go ahead, Asimar. Let's see how good your acrobatics check is. Oh, no. yeah, do it acrobatics. It's not bad. You got Where a plus two. Okay. Roll it. I Hopefully don't you don't that. land in the raccoon poop. She break rolled myself. a ten. I'm break myself. Yeah, it wasn't the best. Uh, it looks like a fat guy doing cartwheels. <laughs> nice. Um, uh, I am Papa Gentry, and this is my family. Uh, how may we be of service to you? Just We're passing ready. through. Yeah. Have you heard the good word? I have not. Oh, our savior, the bird, uh, beckons all to rejoice his name. Okay. <laughs> like I said, we were just passing through, and I'm going to start through. heading the other way. We better get, we better get out of here. <laughs> uh, I'm, 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 I'm a cat, people, and we eat birds. That's probably not a good place for me to be. Uh, <laughs> 
You're are, are you done with them, Barnum? Is all of your friends just keep walking by? You're moving out before I have to slaughter. I don't do well. He 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 was in. He was a good cleric once, spreading the good word and healing souls. And then he finally snapped, and now he takes souls and doesn't heal. Okay, we heard you. Yeah, heal. Uh, oh, forget it. Uh, okay, they. Okay, bye. Hey, bye. No, I'll walk away. Wave well, goodbye and continue to uh, operate the uh, foot pump on the saw. And yep. as you guys walk out of the clearing, you hear the wood getting trimmed up. Uh, you pass by a, a small flower garden next to the house and continue to walk back into the woods. Uh, 10, 20 yards in, right back to normal. You see the pastoral lake to the side. Uh, just up ahead is the river feeding it. Okay. You see the beginnings of a beaver dam uh, right there and surmise that you were on the low side of the lake. Oh, this is the low side. The other side was the high side. Give me an insight check. Oh, that ain't good. Mm -mm. Seven. Uh, Thirteen. Nine. Come on, Sophie. Good one. Good. Twelve. Twelve. <clears throat> Gornak. 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 Bueller. Bueller. Yeah, Bueller. I zoned out. I was just staring. What did you guys say? Insight. Insight. Check you more. You know uh, your first death save. <laughs> What? What's going on? Look at that. 20, natural 20. Gornak, uh, the specific, uh, mm -hmm. points out those beavers look like they're going to dam up the river. We might be on the low side. I think uh, those religious zealots are going to get flooded out. God wills it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the birds. The floods are coming. The bird we'll warn them. The floods are coming. I'm sure their bird god will fly them to safety. <laughs> yep. <laughs> wow. You gotta, you gotta look at the Leon and race. I wrote a four on my attitude. It's, I'm certain every bad thing that happens can ultimately be blamed on the gods, but I roll my eyes at each new twist of fate, try to get on with my life. That's me. Fair enough. Uh, you guys continue on for a couple more hours going up the river. High side. Uh, there's a couple of uh, small creeks that feed it like a tributary. Uh, you'll get your boots wet, but it, it's not in any jeopardy of getting washed not away. Not see any paths or trails or anything as we go? Every once in a while you find a uh, uh, doe path or some kind of other animal uh, and notice a low spot in the creek where they would get water. Uh, the high grasses out here are mixed with the trees uh, when they're sparse. Uh, but it's really a, you know, it, it, it's God's great wilderness. The bird, the bird created this area. And, and it is actually very beautiful. Uh, you continue on until the light starts to dim. Uh, and you can find a suitable spot to where you can go ahead and camp for the night. Sure. Um, so uh, there's five of you who wants to be my watchers. I will. Okay, you watch. You want to watch. Take I watch. volunteer as tribute. What, who's last watch? Sophia. D12 against me, Sophia, or Beelzebub. Second dice from the top. Hey. Check. Yep. Yep. I'm scared. Uh, roll. Nine. Voice crack. Uh, Beelzebub, on your watch, you notice a rather large brown bear mm -hmm. meandering close, but not through your camp, uh, and it appears to be headed towards the creek or the river. Uh, if it does notice you, it doesn't seem to care every once in a while. Mm 
continues to plot along uh, after it leaves your site down by the river. Uh, about 10 minutes passes and comes lumbering back. It smells that dwarf. And uh, lumbers off into the woods. Uh, about an hour later, daybreak happens. Everybody wakes up. Uh, the river uh, at this spot, now that you have fresh eyes, uh, is at an incline. So it is coming down this mountain here. Uh, so you imagine that the mouth or the uh, start of the river is nearby. So you go ahead and travel. Three more hours and you come to a clearing and you notice something unusual. Everybody roll perception. Oh, nice. Oh, that's good. Damn it. Uh, 21. She oh, rolled a wait, three. Four. Giving you my bad roll. Give you a one. Nope. I rolled a 22. <gasps> Ralph, Gornak? Ten. Gornak. Gornak. I just rolled a four. It's, like, uh, it's on like, it's right in the middle. It's a 14 and a four, and it's like, it's kept. It's you rolled an eight. Uh, Leon and Barnum, uh, you notice there's a clearing up ahead. There appear to be two bodies in it. One appears to be a dwarf. The other one appears to be a griffin. Everybody roll arcana check. Ooh. Uh, 16 and one, Just seven, straight up 17. Arcana is a big old Natural girl. 20, baby. I'm going to fail. Six. 11. 11 and a natural 20. Barnum, uh, that, to the best of your knowledge, might be what they call a member of the Feather Guard. Uh, it, it's and you know what, Ralph, go ahead and roll a second one at advantage, since it's a dwarf. Ralph. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting on your answer. Four two. Two. <laughs> Roll advantage okay, at advantage. Cool. Yeah, he, he was apparently raised by wolves. So, uh, Barnum, in your travels, you've heard of something called the Feathered Guard. These are elite uh, warriors of the Dwarven kingdoms in the area, not particularly Zito, uh, but the areas to the north and to the northeast. Uh, these guys are, in the vernacular, badasses because uh, they are trained with griffin mounts. Uh, they are superior in aerial combat in every fashion. And on the ground, uh, they are equally as dangerous. Uh, but the, this guy and his mount are dead. Mount is too, right? Mount is upside down. The wing is kind of crooked. Uh, and they're in kind of a, a grassy plateau area and that is what we call a cliffhanger so we will stop for the day ah! <laughs> and penalize you guys <laughs> uh aj what'd you think today uh it was good it was good i uh, read some prisoners you know doing the lord's work found my religious item yeah i i like the religious item that's a nice touch little frankie what'd you think Little Frankie, what'd you think? Hey, I little Frankie, was... what'd you think? <laughs> shut it. You can all just shut it. My roles were bad. Everybody's a jerk. I'm never saving any of you ever again. Yay, we're all winners. <laughs> uh, Daddy Frank, what'd you think? Which Daddy? There's literally two Daddy Franks. That's you. Oh, okay. You're, you're next to him on my screen. I'm senior. I'm always senior. Yeah, he, he is the elder. Elder Frank. Elder uh, I liked it. It was it. It was rough because I mean, I, 
I, in a lot of ways, felt like I really wanted to continue on with that that <sighs> venture that we started with the uh, bandits, but with Hamas. Yeah, I, for some I wanted to, but then it's like, man, should we get the hell out of here before it goes south? So I liked it. There, I mean, not a lot of fighting, but it was different type of thinking and figuring out what the hell you wanted to do. That was my goal today to put you guys in the trick bag, uh, and I did it to you twice. Although you walked right past the religious zealots. Yeah, uh, thank you. No, <laughs> no. Uh, I, 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 I had uh, lots of mass slaughter people in this version because I just don't feel like my guys a mafia mass slaughter. So before I did, because I gave up on my belief in religion, that's why I go with death now. Oh, that works. Yeah. Uh, Sophia, Sophia what do you think? <laughs> I thought it was really fun. I talked more. I wasn't as quiet as last time, at least. It'll take the hang of it. You'll build in. Yeah. You so, can ask okay. her anything at any time. <laughs> yep. Uh, ask. You can even try and do stuff. I don't mind. You, you can always Your try. Your brother do does stuff. all the time. That's how he's ugly in the other game. <laughs> sure. uh, the elder statesman, what do you think? <laughs> I I liked it, yeah, and I just wanted to see which way everybody wanted to go. As far as the zealots, you know, Lynn, and you got to roll to see what your attitude is about it, about the gods, because they <clears> just <throat> do not have much in the way of respect for that shit. Think it's all goofy. I just want to go fight something and have a good time. I will simply say that not everything appears the way they are. <laughs> uh, with that we'll end it for the day thank you for joining us follow us on Twitch follow us on Twitter take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot shit about D&D &D, join our Discord if you want to buy our cool crap I, hell it might even be on sale I'm not sure uh, tinyurl.com slash RPG swag uh, if you want dice that are customized for you go ahead and contact on Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice and of course if your game stinks Unlike ours, ours smells like success. Uh, check out oddfishgames.com with Adventure Sense. They also make uh, the Shine system so that you can write better. And they have their Kickstarter, How to RPG with Your Cat, live, 100% uh, funded, but still a, a good buy. I played it, I had a great time. Uh, I think you will too. Uh, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we'll see you on Tuesday for Between the Rolls. Let's do the data game Kiss in the Wave. Mwah. Bye, everybody. Oh, yeah.